Okay, hello again, gang. All right, so not everything is about gloom and doom and the world coming to an end and all this sort of stuff. It's actually going to be a little bit of a fun video here, at least fun day. I know you guys ask about this every once in a while. It's sweet potato harvest day, and it's time to pull them out of the straw bales so you guys get to see what I've got going on with growing sweet potatoes in straw bales. So I want to show you this and remind you what we got going on. Okay, so there is my sweet potato patch. And by no means is it anything like huge or anything like that. This is what I grew in six straw bales. That's it. So there are 12 uh, sweet potato slips that I got out. Leaves look very healthy. As you can see in there, they're flowering. Flowering is not telling you that they're ready to harvest or anything like that. It's just they're coming to end of life and, uh, you know, they'll start trying to make seeds because there actually are seeds you can grow these things from. But so let's get into pulling some sweet potatoes and see what I got. Okay, so I'm going to go through here. I know a lot of people will save the sweet potato vines to eat themselves or feed to the animals or whatever. We don't eat them and I don't have them. But so first thing I'm going to do is get in here and I'm going to find the base of one. And I'm going to get some clippers here real quick just because these things are thick. I'm going to show you. Pull some of this out, but... Where is it? Oh, well, there's a little one, <laughs> but it'll go. Let's see if I can try to pull the base. You can see how thick these things will get. I mean, the stem here is about an inch thick, but here's the first, just pulling the stem up. There's a nice sweet potato. I mean, it's about four inches long. Yeah, that's a, a little bit there. I think I could probably take one sweet potato out of that, and that's probably an entire quart jar. So let's keep on digging. I'm just going to pull some of these vines out of here. As I'm pulling up more sweet potatoes as other ones come out. But there you go. There's interesting. Take all that to the side. That was all the leaves out of three plants. So, uh, one and a half bales. But let's get in here. Ah, there's the second half to the one. This one that broke. So this was. Yeah, there was. That's one sweet potato, guys. And let's dig into here a little bit. Now, as I told you before, you can see how that's all nice, rich compost. And it's just all going to go into my garden bed to get tilled in for next year. Oh, there's another one, I feel. There's a good one. A little one. French fry sweet potato. I just broke one off there. With a French fry type one. Throw some of that away. Get my pin out of the way. And they're deep in here too, aren't they? There's another one. Let's see. Oh, 
All right. So that is all from one bale of straw. Let me dig the rest and we'll see what my total haul is. Okay, 15 minutes later after digging out all my sweet potatoes, actually it was out of five bales because the sixth one I wasn't sure if anything was going to happen to it because the slips died halfway through the summer, so I tried replanting them. They were covered in uh, vines, so nothing ever even grew in those. There was nothing there. So this is what I got out of five bales. Doink. All right, so there's a, a full tub there. I don't know the weight. If I had a guess, I'd say... 25 pounds maybe more uh i mean there's some huge ones in there you can see too because of the drought that we had for a while uh there's some splitting going on now we don't use our sweet potatoes they're not a staple in our house we grow them for you know when we have ham or something like that uh i mean this is plenty for us in these times now in an shtf situation i'd certainly grow more but the split ones, everything, they'll all be fine because we'll take all these inside. I will cook them up, cut them up, and can them. So, you know, there is a little bit of bug damage. Uh, nothing to worry about. You know, a lot of, lot of sweet potatoes like this one. Uh, I don't want to say fingerlings, but, you know, there's just looking at numerous ones of that size, which are fine. And then, of course, you know, you get these behemoths here. You know, but like I said, it's split, it's dirty. We'll boil it up, clean it, get the skin off, and salvage what we can. And again, I will say, you know, I, I know you know, none of these would go to the grocery store. You wouldn't see a single one like this in the grocery store. But, the wrong button after but. <laughs> but, I'm not trying to win blue ribbons. I'm trying to grow food, you know. Would you throw those out? Yeah, if you're trying to win a blue ribbon, yes. If you're trying to eat, hell no, you're not throwing those out. And I'm trying to eat. So, you know, after this, now what do I have left? And I'll show you that. I have a huge mound of half-made compost that will all go in the garden with all the grass clippings and everything like that, which is just going to benefit my garden more. And, oh... I have this massive pile of sweet potato vines, and since I don't have cows or goats or anybody to feed them to, they will all get shredded up and go into the compost pile again and just benefit me again. So, you know, all that is what came from, and I've still got it so I can show you this. All that is what came from... This little potato right there that I grew slips from. And you can see there were a couple more that were growing. But, you know, look at the roots on that one. If I had longer seasons, I could do it. But if you wanted to see, I know I talked about this the beginning of the year on growing in hay bales or straw bales. I keep saying hay bales. Uh, growing in straw bales. It's very productive. I mean, out of literally, what is that? 15 feet because five bales if i got 25 to 30 pounds of sweet potatoes i'd call that a good harvest you know now it depends on what you want to do with it yourself but y'all asked there you go enjoy and well out